God, America, Baltimore, Ferguson, you know, with all the uh, uproars and all the uh, riots taking place and, you know, could be some injustice in some areas. I'm sure it is. Let's, let's admit to that. But, you know, with God, America, Baltimore, Ferguson, I'm mentioning these terms because what does America think? We have all these newscasters and these various media sites, media, uh, you know, television stations. Everybody's coming on talking about we need to have a conversation. We need to have a conversation. But will America wake up and recognize that? What do you expect when you take God out the schools? What do you expect when you take God out of the government? What, what does a nation expect when there's no more moral fabric anymore? When these children are being raised up in households where they're not instructed in the ways of God, neither is it happening in school. It's almost as if the country hates God now. And so therefore, what do we expect? Darkness is going to prevail. And that's we're experiencing what we've, what we've asked for. We took God out of the system. You go back to the 1960s. Once we did that, well, we saw the teenage pregnancy skyrocket. We saw crime skyrocket. We saw everything went bad. Everything went worse as soon as we began uh, removing God out of our system. And we don't need conversation. We need God back to America. I'm just being straight with you. Some people are saying, we need education. We need this. We need that. Well, what about the time where there was not a whole lot of education? but the people had a moral fabric. What about the 20s and 30s when black people weren't going to colleges and so forth? They still had a moral fabric to them. It's not the education. It's not like they need opportunities for jobs and such, thus and such. No, they need some morale. They need some morals, proper godly morals. And, and the nation's got to come together. We got to recognize that the stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. And so when you got the government allowing same-sex marriage, allowing to hand out condoms in the school. I mean, come on, what do we expect? We're taking God out of the system. No one has morals anymore. And so the Bible is inevitable. It speaks about the inevitability of what's taking place. In the last days, perilous times will come. It's because people, the love of many has waxed cold. You know, children are disobedient to the parents. It's, everything's going haywire. It's all because we took God out. What do we expect? However, we're still here. As long as our hearts are still, are still pumping, we can still come together. 2 Chronicles 7, 14. God promised if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and seek my face. The United States of America, if the president and his wife would come on national television and say a prayer, come on, just come and say a prayer. So if you claim to be a Christian, come on TV and say a prayer. If the Congress would come on TV and spend an hour and just pray, quit trying to promote your political agendas. And if we just, you know, this is what we need. The whole, uh, everybody who claims to be a Christian and some of the people on the outside would say, well, why doesn't the uh, Christian community stand up against this? Well, nearly 80 some percent of the country claims to be Christian. So why don't the whole country comes together, come together and stand up against this and come together and pray? Trust and believe God. Implement the principles of the canon of scripture back in our daily living again. It's okay to keep God in the Pledge of Allegiance. It's okay for kids to pray to, to their God in school. It's okay to have Bible studies in school. It's okay, as the New England Primer was, uh, shows that, to teach the ABCs, the alphabets, by, by characters in the canon, in the Bible, to learn the things of God. It's okay. You know, we took God out. What do we expect? We don't need any more conversation. We need God back in America. So all these things happening in Ferguson and Baltimore, that's just, that's wickedness. That's what it is. It's evil running rampant. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood. It's not black and white. It's not little kids and thugs and hooligans. It's we wrestle against principalities and powers, spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. There's a devil out there and he's running rapid. He's wreaking havoc on people's lives and the people don't know any better because they can't, don't have any discernment that there is a God. There's right and wrong, but they haven't been taught anything. So we got to get back to God. That's the answer. People want to hear an intellectual, uh, intellectual response. I don't have an intellectual response. We need God. When we get it, when are we going to get it? Come on, we need God. Now click subscribe. Follow me on this YouTube, bfabp.com. That's believers from a biblical perspective. I'm not using this to post on Facebook. I'm going to the store or put a recipe on here. No, I'm not using this to tell jokes and send something and pass something along. I'm using this to advance the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is the right way. Let's get back to the, to the standards that we once had. In Jesus' name, amen.